welcome to another state champs at the state finals program covering the state championships of the 21-22 school year. All of our final shows are presented by Lawrence Tech University, world-class undergraduate programs, and over two dozen NAIA Division II level varsity sports, including men's and women's lacrosse. Recruit yourself, visit LTU Athletics, Com. Today, we are highlighting what went down at the MHSAA Boys and Girls Lacrosse State Finals. My name is Sean Belegian, and to help me today, my co-host for the State Champs Face-Off Show, he is the head man at Orchard Lake St. Mary's. Let's welcome him in, uh, Coach Greg Durham. Coach, what an epic weekend out in Howell. Uh, it was absolutely awesome. Uh, even the games before... The semifinals, that CC Heartland game, went right down to the wire. You knew that that Heartland Rice game was going to be a great game. But let's start out with Division II boys, probably the best team in the state of Michigan. My ranking number one, Grand Rapids, Four Hill Central against Country Day. Two great teams, two great coaches, two systems that are different. You got Andy Shira uh, controlling, you know, Four Hill Central against Chris Garland. Uh, who's really had a great team this year with Country Day. Just a barn burner. Country Day got off a good, great start, 3 nothing, And you saw Forest still Central just starting to figure things out. Got the game back within one. And then the second half, you know, Crandall Quinn played outstanding. Uh, it was just a great game. Forest still Central eventually tied it, took over, and finished the game out 11-8. Well-deserved. They finished their perfect season. Uh, Division II state champs. And congratulations to Andy and, and the Forest Hill Central Rangers. They just deserve it. Just an awesome season for them. And if you don't believe him, you can go back and listen to some of our podcasts during the course of the season. Coach, you were all about the Rangers for, for a few weeks. Uh, Coach was kind enough to kind of give us his personal top 10 in each division for both the boys and the girls. You've been talking these guys up for all season long. The thing about Forest Hill Central is they didn't have a weakness. They were strong at the goalie position. They have two fantastic attackmen. They have two or three great defensemen. They have one of the best face-off guys in the state of Michigan. When you have that, you're going to be pretty tough to beat. So granted, you know, don't get me wrong, uh, Country Day has a great attackman. They have two great defensemen. They have a fantastic goalie, a really good midfielder. But I just think that overall, the balance of it, Forest Hill Central just outperformed everybody and they took the championship. Yeah, congratulations to the Rangers. And I'll tell you what, another W on the west side as well. The Division II girls out at Rockford High School. EGR wins its third title in a row with a thrilling OT win over DCD. And just another great game back and forth. Uh, you know, you have to give it, I saw EGR early in the year, watching that game, watching Country Day, it was just, we picked them to be in the finals. We knew that, I said that probably from day one. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things that those two teams were destined to play each other. They played each other and, you know, all the way to overtime, what happens? EGR pulls it out by, you know, one goal, 12 to 11 over Country Day. Just a fantastic game. Congrats to both teams on great seasons, and congratulations to East Grand Rapids for winning the Division II girls title. Well, it goes to show you just how competitive it is. I mean, all over the state, for both the boys and the girls, I might add, but with the girls, you have an OT thriller in Division II. How about the OT thriller in Division I? And congratulations have to go out to the Brighton Bulldogs. So. It was an amazing game. I was watching when I was watching this game. It was Forest Hills Northeastern. They were up eight to two, and then second half, Brighton figured it out. They were down a person with a minute or so left in the game. I think they scored maybe with 30 seconds to tie it up. It was an unbelievable game back and forth. They go into overtime and they win that game. Just a fantastic game. Congratulations to Brighton. Uh, well deserved. They have some great players that are going on to the next level. Uh, you just can't ask for you know another great lacrosse community. The Brighton playing another great lacrosse community. Forest Hills Northern and Eastern, and it's just another overtime win. This is what we want in the state finals. Two great teams playing and battling, and congrats to the Brighton Bulldogs for a great comeback and win. 
It was a great season on the girls' side. Congratulations to all the girls out there really putting this great game on the map. We're saying great because, I mean, we're talking about champions, okay? So there's a lot of great to be thrown around there. I guess the finale, the Division I uh, boys, I mean, here comes that word again. Unbelievable, great, not only the game, but coach, you know this in any sport. When the game is on the line, on the biggest stage, you want your best players to be your best players. And I got to give a shout out. Johnny Kidd's our best player around here. What a shot he got of Bo Lockwood's OT winner, an instant classic as Heartland knocks off Brother Rice. What a game. I mean, it was just absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, being from the Catholic League, I know what Rice has. I know what they're capable of. We've seen it all year. We've seen it for the last decade or two. Uh, Rice is always going to be in that championship game. And here we are. Heartland played a great game, tough game against CC. They come in to Rice, and they were determined to win that game. There was no doubt about it. And Evan Bugsby, the, the face-off guy, he dominated that game. I think he won almost every face-off but maybe two. And that was really the difference in the game. Uh, he probably is the unsung hero of that game, if you want to say it, because, you know, those stats, yeah, he might have won every face-off, but you don't really see that. You, but what you see is who scores the game winner, and you see the, how fitting it is for Bo to finish his career, finish it with a shot that he said he practiced thousands of times, coming around the cage. And what's, what, what is also unbelievable is that to watch that and watch Rice defend that pass down, pick down all game. And for the first time, the defender fell. Bo uses extra gear, speed, got through the crease. Nice finish, game winner. Heartland wins the state championship. First team public school to win the Division I state championship in Michigan under the MHSAA guidance since, you know, since 2005. Congratulations to Heartland. I know that's been every step. They've been moving forward every year. They've been there before and they finally got the crown. Well, phenomenal. Uh, no doubt about that. Congratulations to all of our state champions. I'm Sean Belegian along with coach Greg Durham. Thanks so much for checking us out all year and watching this edition of State Champs at the State Finals. State Champs at the State Finals is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports. Visit ltuathletics.com and recruit yourself. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Detroit Medical Center Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Pros. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changers. U.S. Navy Recruiting, call 313-315-2560 and talk to a local officer to find out how the Navy can take you anywhere from the sea to the stars. Oakland School's technical campuses are designed for any student who wants to graduate high school with industry certifications, on-the-job experiences, business connections, and college credits. Check them out at ostconline.com. EA Graphics, get your official MHSAA championship merchandise at shopmhsaa.com.